דברי חז"ל, our sages, the Torah is gifted to you. It's not learned. Torah is not math, it's not science, it's not history. If you study history or any common secular subject, you study 10 hours, you get 10 hours of results. The Torah is not that. The Torah, if you study 10 hours, based on your effort, Hashem can decide to give you either 10 hours of knowledge or two weeks of knowledge. You study two weeks, He can give you either two weeks of knowledge or two years worth of knowledge. It's all based on your effort. How much did you exert yourself? How much mesirut nefesh, which is self-sacrifice, did you invest to get this Torah? How much do you really want this Torah? Mm -hmm. Are you just reading it, you know, here and there, like it's a newspaper? Or are you fighting the night to stay awake to read it? Are you wake up an extra hour early so you can read it? Are you using your break to eat five minutes and then read the Torah? Or are you using your break to talk nonsense, watch the game, maybe watch some ESPN, call your friends, what are you doing, what are you doing, where do you want to go, what, do you want to... what are you doing with your extra time? Do you have misirut nefesh, do you have self-sacrifice to learn this Torah? Is it special for you or is it just a newspaper? You just read it on Shabbat because you have to because you're already the big Because there was a liberty to do it. So Hashem is going to give you this gift. Based on your Mesirut Nefesh, He's going to give you this Torah. This is one of the best sources you can have. He's telling you, based on the actions of a 13-year-old boy, not a grown man already who's had a life full of opportunity to make mitzvot. 13-year-old boy got Ruach HaKodesh. The type of Ruach HaKodesh, we literally had the intelligence to create a world. Because that was what the create Aron HaKodesh needed. So this is a very big